Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I wanted to talk about tending zucchini and squash plants. And you can see this is a, a zucchini plant and it's grown in a tomato cage. The tomato cage is reinforced with some bamboo stakes. And this is also the plant that I showed you how to use seven dust down at the base of the stem. And if you look in there, if you come around this side, you can see a zucchini growing. <coughs> Excuse me. What I wanted to show you was a couple things that are happening with these plants. You can see large leaves, most of them are dark green, but they're starting to yellow inside of, uh, across the whole leaf. And if you come over here, this is, I believe, a um, scallop squash. And you can see the squash down there, and you can also see I dusted the stems of these two plants. And you can see better here the yellowing. There always goes a grasshopper and some more. Squash and zucchini are heavy feeders, so it's time, you know, about every two weeks to give it a liquid fertilizer. You can go organic or you could use miracle Grow, whatever you prefer. Um, I'm also going to give it a shot of Epsom salt because that helps with magnesium and sometimes the magnesium is a cause for yellowing leaves like this. But these are heavy feeders and they're going to need to be fed um, at least every two weeks once they get this big. You want to prepare the bed with a lot of organic matter, a lot of compost and really get your plants growing but these are large now and they're going to take all the nutrients out of the soil. The other thing I wanted to show you was how to find squash bugs. And you can see well, how appropriate. There's a squash bug sitting in there. Um, and if I touch it, it's quite alive. Some bugs fly, some bugs crawl. You get beetles that can do different things to your plants. But you're basically looking for the squash bugs. And you hope that you can kill them, um, even with dusting the stem and doing other things. They still find their ways onto your plants. You want to start looking for eggs. And you look for eggs, basically, by lifting up the plant's leaves and looking underneath. And actually, let's see if I can find this. You can find them right there. Um, and you can see them lined up. And what I'll do with those is uh, just tear them out. Um, pinch them, tear them out, and throw them away. And once you get down to this level, you can see some more eggs right over here and if you pick up other leaves you might find more but basically you get down about this low and look up and again there's some eggs and across that way are some eggs and you want to remove them and here's a closer look at the cage. Now the reason I use a cage is because I want to keep the leaves growing straight up and the main growth of the zucchini growing straight up. That just keeps it off the ground and makes it a little bit harder for the squash bugs to get onto the plants. You can then put seven dust or any organic treatment or anything that you want to spot treat, I mean target treat your plant with. This way the dust stays here, the, plant, the bugs crawl through it and you're not throwing the dust all over the place. A couple more things I can show you is the difference between the flowers. This is a male flower. It's a long stem with just a flower. And there is a female flower which has the actual zucchini. And there's a zucchini growing there. If they don't get fertilized, it's hard to tell, but right down here was a zucchini that just died out. And it just turns yellow and dries back. So again, the male flowers are these long, flowers that do not have a zucchini, just a long stem, and then the female flowers actually have the zucchini. If this flower doesn't get fertilized, this zucchini will not mature. It'll just um, turn yellow and die back. There's another one. Right there is the beginning of a female plant and a little zucchini. If you like this video, please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thank you.